All right, this is an interesting experiment, I think. Um, I'm using my U-Blox GPS unit, which can output um, frequencies between 1 hertz and 24 megahertz at certain frequencies uh, with precise square waves. Um, and then I'm using my uh, MAX 2870 um, signal source um, to generate an output uh, signal that's going into my uh, Rigol oscilloscope. And the nice thing about the um, MAX 2870, I'm going to stop this, is if you go to settings, you can actually set up the reference clock at whatever frequency you want. So the uh, GPS unit is set up using um, U-Center software from U-Blox to output a 12 megahertz square wave. And um, I've set up my reference clock to 12 megahertz on my 2870, MAX 2870 device. So the PLL chip is being driven by a nice steady square wave from my GPS unit. And then I can set my output frequency here, set it to 50 megahertz, and then generate that output. And we can watch the frequency here on the, on the Rigel scope. And you can see we've got 49.9999. And I'll reset the, um, reset the statistics. There you go, 49.999, max 49.9999, minimum the same, average the same. So we get good control um, from the max 2870 because we're using the GPS unit as a reference clock, the reference input to the um, max 2870. So let me update or uh, increase that frequency. I'll turn that off and uh, change that to a frequency of, excuse me, change that frequency to, um, let's say 200 megahertz. Whoops, I gotta erase the old one, 200 megahertz, and turn that on. And reset the counter, it's such, all right. It's showing, uh, yeah, I gotta reset the stats. Reset the stats. Yeah, 200 megahertz. Hopefully you can see that on the Rigel scope. 200 megahertz, 200.000. And we get a nice generated sine wave from the MAX 2870 at precisely the frequency that we want. So you can use this inexpensive GPS unit from U-Box. This thing cost me, I think it was $8 or $7 on uh, AliExpress. And um, use center software from um, from U Blocks to configure the output frequency um, and set up your um, set up your um, reference clock to the same frequency that's coming out of the U Blocks device, and you're off and running with a very nicely controlled tightly controlled frequency output from the MAX 2870. So that's it. Thanks for watching.